foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly called God, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do real well, that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth unto the true servants, true and sincere servants, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine unto you. I say shalom. America, the land of the idols. Anything goes here in Babylon, all right, where you can worship whatever you want. You could be whatever you want. And this is this this uh, example right here, this big monkey statue in Texas that, you know, is a Hindu statue that was just built is nothing new. OK, because America is filled with nothing but idols. All right. Nothing but witchcraft. All right. And really, a lot of them, you know, Bible Belt Christians down there is pissed with this. OK, they and, and you know, what they can see is they can see that. Uh, um, they can see the fall of America. That's why they pissed because, you know, hell, even 20 years, 30 years ago, this, this shit like this went fly where, you know, you got uh, demonic ass statues of, uh, of monkey gods or whatever the hell this is called. Um, I think it's called uh, Hanuman or something like that. I'm going to read a little bit of the article, but it just shows you that, that this place is just filled of uh, a field of witchcraft. All right, and like the scripture says in Micah two and ten, it's not our rest. Our people, man, our people are supposed to denounce idols. We're supposed to, you know, uh, um, you know, we're supposed to um, destroy these idols. All right, of these heathen gods. But this ain't our rest. This ain't we. We have no. We're not. We're not sovereign here. All right, we're not in our kingdom. But this show. This is nothing more than uh, another idol that this devil Esau is just putting up there for really for 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 to, as a uh, as a stumbling block to make you go off. All right, you don't think it ain't, don't think it ain't a nigga out there that's gonna start practicing Hindu that may go by and worship this or reverence it in some in some type of way. All right, idols like Christmas trees. Christmas tree is nothing but an idol. All right, Easter that's full of idols. All these pagan ass holidays. Money is an idol here in Babylon. All right, the American flag. All these are idols that our people reverence. Okay, you only you shouldn't reverence no idols. Okay, the only ones you should reverence is Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh the Most High, in the name of His Son Yahweh Shah. Those are the ones that um, uh, uh, um, you should be giving all your energy and your power to. The cross in the Christian Church, the Catholic Church, those are idols. Okay, and the Lord said He's going to destroy all the idols. Okay, let me let me read a little bit of this article. Um, it ain't that long, but it just shows you how Babylon is just just filled with idols, and really these idols have destroyed our people. Our people. We'll be in it. Our people will be, will, will be Buddhist, in the Hindu, uh, um, you know, Islam. Uh, of course, you know the biggest demon, Christianity. All right, they'll be in all this shit. But you tell the Jake, they're Israelite to repent. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His Son is Yahweh Shai. All right, a uh, 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 famine, pestilence, Jacob's trouble. All we'll, we'll give our people all the warnings, but they'll still take heed to these idols. All right, this is. Um, let me see. Conservatives are raging over the arrival of a 90-foot statue of Hanuman, a Hindu deity that half human and half monkey. This is like some Baphomet type shit, real talk. Uh, the massive statue was raised on August 15th at Sugarland Shuri Ashtalaski Temple, according to local NBC affiliate KCEN. Hindu considered Hanuman an immortal being known to for his devotion to the Hindu god Rama in virtues like vir, virtues like self-control. These, these these people are bugged out. Any any nigga, any Jake out there that subscribe to it, the Lord's gonna destroy you. The Texas Hanuman figure, officially titled the State of Union, is now reportedly the third tallest statue in US continental US trailing only the hundred and fifty one foot Statue of Liberty, which is an idol. All right, well, I just saw something, too. Um, I don't know if it was a meme uh, 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 where it showed a uh, the Statue of Liberty and uh, this other demon that it emulates, kind of. All right, and the Pegasus and Dragon statue in Hollandale Beach, Florida. Actually, I'll look that up real quick. 
this 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 crap right here and it says the dragon is made of yada 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 the symbol of strength elegance and good triumph over evil yeah okay yeah that's what they're telling you okay but all these demonic ass figures they they come they bring a energy they bring a spirit with them and this is the one that they uh this 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 uh the one they erected the statue of uh hanuman is a god of wisdom strength courage devotion and self discipline they'll tell you anything okay there's all this shit is witchcraft and all this, all these things are just idols uh, uh, uh of these heathen these are customs of the heathen okay it's why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing this is vain what is that uh psalms uh psalms 2 uh yeah why do the heathen heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing all right they, they, these people are vain all right, these people are not these people are not holy. They meaning holy meaning separate. All right, the Most High gave these 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 heathens their idols. All right, you Israelites are supposed to worship the Heavenly Father in His Son. Okay, through His Son. All right, this is a Hindu statue built in Texas. Okay, this is another one they have in a uh, uh, New Delhi in uh, 2022 April 25th. They just put these they just, they. You know, this is over in, in, in um in India, but they put this right here in Texas. This is yeah. I'll play it. Big ass curious George statue right there in in, in Texas. An idol. The Lord's gonna destroy all these idols of Babylon. And you people that worship them. Look at this shit. Houston it's in Houston, actually, yeah. All them Jakes in Houston, there ain't no Jake got no issue with this. Only ones that got an issue with is either my Christians, and they're bugged out, but at least they got enough sense to know what the hell is going on. You Israelites have no clue. All right? Since human rights, de deity, yeah, all these false deities, false gods, they have no power. All right? The one that the scripture says, the one that made them, the hands of the one that made them have more power than the damn idol. But what do you niggas do? Worship the idol. Okay, worship, you know, uh, 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 JC, the cross. All right, let me, um, actually, uh, let me start with, um, damn, what did I want to get? Um, Jeremiah, that's right, so I get Jeremiah 10 and uh, 2. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathens are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are vain for one cut of the tree out of the forest and the works of the hands of a workman with axes going into the Christmas tree, which is another item. Okay, what it says, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, and, and that was a, a great stumbling block unto our people. They learned the way of the heathen. That's why when the Israelites came in, um, excuse me the israelites came in the land of canaan the lord said destroy all the idols okay because those they had to get rid of those idols because you know jake is jake is uh uh uh, uh you know during that time jake was really weak-minded and they would you know go off and end up um you know uh uh worshiping these these idols of these heathens all right how much more today Did jake doing the same damn thing um let me get Psalms uh, 96. Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord is great, for, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. This this thing right here, this shit ain't make no heavens. This this thing can't even like like the I'm about to get the scriptures in uh is in Wisdom of Solomon where it said the the workmen have more power over the uh, 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 of the idol. All right, it said the Most High, the Most High Yahweh made the heavens. All right, but the Lord Yahweh made the heavens. Okay, all they said the gods of the nations are idols. These are all idols. Let me get the word for idol. What is the word? Elil, I think. Il Elil. Of not good for nothing, worthless. Of physicians, shepherd, worthless. Of false gods. These are false gods. These are false deities. Okay, and, and Babylon is full of them. That's why this is called 
Babylon, the land of confusion. All right, this place. If you don't, if you don't know what the hell is going on, you're going to be confused. Okay, you're going to be, you know, you you think you worshiping something that that, but it has no power. All right, say idol. All right. Um, let me get Isaiah. Isaiah two and six. It reads, therefore, thou hast forsaken thy people, the house of Jacob, because they replenish from the east and are soup and are soothsayers, soothsayers like the Philistines, and they please themselves in the children of strangers. That was Jake, man. They were, you know, uh, uh, that was a part of them going off. OK, you know, following the ways and the customs of the heathen. Their land also is full of silver and gold. Neither is there any in of their treasures their land is also full of horses neither is there any end of their chariots their land is full of idols they worship the work of their own hands that which their own fingers have made okay that, that's the spirit of jake man and I'm, I'm i wouldn't be surprised if jake was you know helped build this all right jake held had their hand in constructing this whether they part of the construction crew or not Okay, Jake. Jake somehow, some way, had a hand in, in it. Okay, in, in in Jake, you know, Jake can't help themselves. They gotta have a, a, a in a way they find a find a way to have their hand in wickedness. All right, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter fourteen, and this whole this whole chapter pretty much goes into idols. Uh, but I'm gonna start at uh, verse twelve. The devising, actually, um, let me see. Yeah, I started at 11. Therefore, even unto the idols of the Gentiles, nest not, there shall be there, shall there be a visitation, because in the creation of the Most High there are become an abomination and stumbling block to the souls of men, and a snare to the feet of the unwise. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of of them of them the corruption of life for neither were they from the beginning neither shall they be at the it's neither shall they be forever all right so the, and this basically telling you these idols they had they 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 hold no they have no power okay they they, they they're just like they said they're, they're made with someone's hands okay for by the vain glory of men they entered into the world and therefore shall they shortly come to an end Okay, speaking of these idols, all these false idols, okay, that that our people have always, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, um, reverence. Okay, I'll say, uh, verse fifteen: For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he hath made an image of his child soon taken away, now honored him as a god, which which was which was then a dead man. He delivered. To those that were under his his ceremonies and sacrifices, thus in the process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong and kept as a law, engraven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. All right, so it, it showed you how Jake, um, you know, gave you an example how Jake, you know, went off. It said the father afflicted by the uh, uh, um, untimely death and made a, 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 a image of his son to honor his son. Okay, and, and they begin to worship that 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 um that that idol. All right, just like you see um in, in really in the Northern Kingdom households, how they got the whole little um shrine with you uh with, with uh, a, a Cesare on it with the cross and the rosaries. That ain't nothing but an idol. Okay, just like this 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 monkey statue they got up here. Okay, um let me go over to uh now I want to go hit Micah. Out of scriptures uh michael one and two hear ye all hear, like like you hear all ye people hearken O earth and all that therein is and let the lord power be witness against you the lord from the from his holy temple for behold the lord cometh forth out of his place and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth and the mountain shall be molten under him and the valley sh shall be clefts as wax before the fire and as the waters that are poured down a steep place for the transgressions of Jacob is is all this and for the sins of the house of Israel what is the transgressions of Jacob is not 
Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Therefore, I will make Samaria as a heap in the field and as a planting of a vineyard. And I will pour down the stones thereof into the valley and I will discover the foundation thereof. All right, the points in seven. All the graven image thereof shall be beaten to pieces and all the hires thereof shall be burned with the fire and all the idols thereof I will lay desolate for she gathered it, gathered it of the hire of a harlot and shall return to the hire of the harlot. All right. So the Lord, in, in, in when, the, when the Lord brings the destruction of right, Babylon, he's going to destroy, of course, Babylon and all the idols and all as scripture says, um, uh, what is that? First Peter, second Peter three, three. Yeah, Second Peter three, and uh, where is it? Where all the works shall be burned up. Um, it was right here somewhere. We all just start at uh. Yeah, I'll start at 10, 10, 10, 10 is a point. But the day of the Lord, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. The, what are those works? All right. Spiritual fornication, these idols, all right, all, all the wickedness that our people have done and, and committed in, in the sins against Yahweh Shai, they've done in this place. All those wicked works are going to be burned up, like right along with the idols. Let me look up this word, works. Aragon. Let me see. Toil, the implication, deed, doing, labor, work. Let me see what's right here. Business, employment, um, any product whatsoever, anything accomplished by hand, art, industry, or mind, the act, a deed. Um, emphasize an opposition or op uh, to that which is less than work. Let me see if there's any other word. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Let me read the finish reading the scripture. Shall be burned up, seeing seeing then that that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person are you to be in holy conversation, in godliness? All right. I'm gonna jump to um. Back to the Old Testament in Ezekiel 30. And uh, let me see. Um, 13. Thus saith the Lord power, I will destroy the idols and I will cast their images to cease out of Noph. And there and there shall be no more prince in the land of Egypt. And I will, no, actually, damn, it was another scripture I want to get in Revelation. This is one I wrote down, but this really don't go. Hold on. Bear with me one second. See. Um, Let me see. Maybe eighteen chapter. Bear with me one second. Damn, it was another scripture, man. Lord willing, I could find it real quick. Oh, let me look it up on my phone real quick. Bear with me one second. Oh, no, that's not what I was looking for. Um, 
so yeah, I'm gonna just end it there. You know, I just wanted uh, to to you know hit hit you know bring out this lesson, bring out this um this blasphemy. You know, this this these idols, these um these uh um this witchcraft that Esau continues to put out there. But the elect is not gonna be fooled by none of this. The elect, you know, hey, the elect got tunnel vision on this truth on your how about shine and 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 you know we see Babylon falling. We see that the, the confusion that you know this place continues to um continues to breed all right but the elect won't be fooled by it. the elect are those that can't be plucked out of the heavenly father's hand that haven't bowed the need the image of bow out okay so um yeah this really goes with the image of the beast all right because you know they say you know one world religion so you have to accept you know all these all these uh um these idols uh, of the left hand of esau all right, their um their religion, their 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 system, their their money system. So you know, it's just it's just you know it just shows you you know where 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 um the direction Babylon's headed. All right, and you know, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Harakadosh Shalom.